Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here. Today I'm going to do another work in progress and chat, whip and chat for you guys. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So please join me. You can do whatever you want. I know I'm doing cross stitching, but you can, you can do whatever craft you want. I do not segregate <laughs> on crafting time. Um, thank you for joining me today. If you are new here and you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. This is the, the video every week where I kind of talk about, catch you up on what's going on in my personal life, some funny stories or what have you, things that are going on, um, and so, so on. <laughs> um, and today I'm just going to take the opportunity to try to finish the page of this heaven and earth design. So feel free to join me and let me know what you're working on down below in the comments, please. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So this is a Heaven and Earth Design chart, which is from heavenandearthdesign.com. Uh, I have all the details of this and all of my other cross-stitching and knitting pro projects, all the links to everything. Anything that I mention or I'm talking about will be linked there in my new and improved Link Haven. <laughs> um, I know I'm saying that funny, but... I mean, honestly, it's just because there's a character limit to how many things you can put in YouTube. And so I was I was going way over that. And uh, and it's just kind of a handy dandy reference tool. So you can bookmark it if you want. And as I move on and do more things, I will, you know, up, update it, upgrade it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a helpful reference as well. And um and I can help you out. So it's, it's a Google document. So you just click on the link and it opens it up in another window. Um, and within that, there are clickable links. So you just look for the, look for the category. Um, like for instance, if you're looking for the fabric that I'm using, this is a 25 count Zweigart Easy, Easy Count Lugana. And I have that listed under fabrics. And then, you know, if you're looking for this chart, I have it lift, listed on my current works in progress and so on and so on and so on. The needle minder that I'm using today is actually from my own shop, which I want to give you a little tiny update on. Um, it's still not open. I'm still technically on vacation or whatever Etsy decides to call it, having short break because I just don't know. There's certain countries that are accepting mail and then other countries that are not accepting mail and it's a bit of a mess at the moment, I'm going to be honest. So make sure that you grab a beverage. I'm drinking sweet iced tea. Brewed in the sun. Like true Southerners like to do. And yes, that is a metal straw. <laughs> um, I sometimes get teased, but I don't care. Um, I'm, that, I'm that person who's like, recycle everything. Um, so yeah, recycle everything and, you know, don't use plastic straws, please save the turtles. Um, anyway, yeah, this is, this has been an epic project. I want to tell you all about my 24 hours of cross stitch and all that that went on this weekend. So if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you were probably, sorry, you were probably bombarded by pictures of this. But I know that a lot of you out there don't have social media accounts, so you were spared. <laughs> um, I was posting pictures of this whip, which is The Soul of the Rose by John William Waterhouse. Did I say that already? Um, I'm planning on, someone, someone actually sent me a picture that there's like a needle minder of this painting, and I'm thinking about getting it so that I'll always have a picture of, of it next to me. What do you think? Should I do that? Um, I noticed that Michelle Bendy Stitchy has that for her Josephine Contessa with Squid, <laughs> which she calls Josephine. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Uh, let's start with Friday. So Friday, because Thursday wasn't really, I don't even remember what I did on Thursday, to be honest. They're all kind of, the days are blending together. Let's be honest. Um, the... Friday, I, I was talking to Miss Coffee. I was sitting out in the garden and I was just like, you know what? I haven't, I haven't really done much. 
sorry, excuse my dog. She, <laughs> Luna. Uh, there is, the neighbors are out walking their dog and she just has to try to get that dog's attention. It's not going to work on, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me just make sure that I'm in the right place. Leave that one free. Do this one. Yeah. Okay, bear with me. Because I actually have to make sure that I don't... Ah! No! Yes. Okay. <laughs> Press the wrong button, of course. So those. Leave that free. Hold on. I just, I just messed up. Hold on. That's the line. I just did that one. I need to do this one. Like here I am just blabbing away. That one. And then this one. And then everything beyond that point is done. So I can just highlight all of that over there. Perfect. Finish this stitch. This in my left hand, this is a trolley needle. I like to use it when I'm doing all one color, like a whole strand of one color because my, my t thread gets twisted. And honestly, it's a lot faster than untwisting all the time. Okay, so anyway, I was sitting in my garden and I was like, I haven't, I haven't had a giveaway in a while. On Facebook I do I do giveaways for cross stitching on my floss tube videos sometimes and um, but I was like I haven't done anything in the group and I want to give back to the group because there have been some really really awesome people in the group and so um, on Friday I was like we're gonna have a giveaway <laughs> and it was for a $25 US dollar gift certificate to 123stitch.com and Leanna I have not forgotten you but 123stitch has not come back to me with the certificate number so uh, well if if I if they have by the time this video goes up then they have but as I'm recording this on Tuesday they have not which is kind of sad but go up here sorry I'm counting as well uh, but that was super fun. Thank you to everybody who entered. And yes, there are, there are random giveaways and stuff on the Facebook group. So please check it out if you haven't already. And if you're interested, uh, I have the link down below this video. So you can go down there and check it out. But that was, that was really fun just to see what your, what everybody's, dream project like the ultimate project would be and I actually haven't shared with you what my ultimate cross stitch project is um, if I had all the time in the world there's this chatelaine that I really really like and I need to park my thread so bear with me one more moment for that take this off whoops Oh goodness sorry guys and we're gonna end this thread back here so there is a chatelaine that I really really like and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but I'm gonna have to try to find a picture of it and put it in here because it's just so pretty but it's not something I'm ever gonna have the time to do because it's so super involved and I already have so many super involved projects in my life. You know what I mean? So I'm right now I'm trying to find silk that I can dye myself for my um, Pilgrim long dog sampler. So there's this sampler that a viewer Michael sent to me. Thank you so much. Um, he bought the pattern. And so I've gotten the, or I have a piece of fabric on the way for it. The one that I bought is actually too small. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be 
Where is it now? That's three. Am I in the right spot? Oh yeah, right here. Right here. And I marked off two that I haven't yet done. So I purchased fabric and now I'm looking for silk that I plan to dye myself, as I just said, uh, to so that I can, um, words, so that I can use the silks on the fabric that I purchased. And maybe you can give me your opinion on it because it is one, two, bear with me. It's this piece of nothing fabric, which is like this black and gray charcoal type. And I just noticed that there is a stitch over here that isn't finished, but that is supposed to be this color. Boop. Move over here and highlight. Thank you for your patience. Sometimes the counting can be a real pain. Okay, so you can see it's much, much, much slower than diamond painting, obviously. Let's see. Mmm, sugar. So, mmm, actual sugar crystals. So it's, it, I'm thinking about on this black and gray fabric. I was thinking about just doing white or silver floss, but then I was like, mm, it won't show up. But if I do like a, like a blue or purple or red, maybe it will really show up. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So what do you think? For those of you who, who like the, um, the floss tube videos. Maybe you can tell me what you think. Am I in the right spot? One, two, yeah, I am. Three. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm trying not to, um, to get my fingers too much in the way because when I'm doing this, when I'm doing my heaven and earth design, I tend to follow the stitches on the top with this hand, with this finger, so that I know where I'm stitching, <laughs> where my next stitch is supposed to go. And I admit that it's actually much easier when it's in my lap and not on a table like it is right now. Because, but then like, you know, setting up the camera and stuff, that's, that's really hard to do when you are there we go yeah there uh when when you know when you're trying to record video so it's a lot different honestly i don't know if i could get it set up uh the way that i would normally stitch it bring this closer um unless my husband helped me to set up the cameras I guess he could, maybe, maybe one of these days, but it's just, yeah, it's a lot. Anyway, okay, so uh, Friday did a random RIK, random act of kindness, decided to just give away a gift certificate, got to see all of your projects, your, your ultimate cross-stitch projects, or what you would plan to do with the gift card. It was just so cool. Um, some people would, were saying they would finish kidding up a project that they've had kind of lingering in their stash and that they really wanted to do, which I think is a great idea. Um, and others were saying that they would love to get a kit to begin with, you know, they've never cross stitched, so they'd like to start with a full kit, which is awesome. These heaven and earth designs, someone is asking me if they come as full kits. You can get them as a full kit from the Heaven and Earth Design website. Uh, that is not what I did up here. I'm using the trolley needle to point now. <laughs> okay, so 
I, for this particular project, I, I based, I got everything separately. So threads were from Michael's, um, the fabric was from Amazon and that's how I went from there. The pattern was obviously from the website, um, which was gifted to me. Thank you again, Michael to, to Michael for, for doing that for me. It's amazing. People are so unbelievably kind. <laughs> okay, so that's one, two, and then we move up again. Highlight, oops. Sorry, sometimes sometimes it takes more focus and then other times it's less focus. Again, it's a weird thing that I'll have to get used to, talking and stitching. <laughs> but. Friday was awesome. Um, we had, what did I make for dinner that night? Duck, duck pancakes, my favorite. I absolutely love duck pancakes. It's like the best Irish fast food. <laughs> but um, they, they make these kits uh, that they sell in Aldi. And so it's kind of my little treat. It's totally not good for you. <laughs> full of fat, but who cares? Who cares? It's all about comfort food in this quarantine, right? One, two, three. Uh, and so no, no regret, <laughs> no regrets. Um, delicious. So that was Friday. And then Friday at five o'clock, I started my 24 hours of cross stitching, which is a challenge from Jen Lee, who is quirks and stitches. You can check her out on Facebook, at Quirks and Stitches group, um, on Instagram at Quirks and Stich Stitches. She started this 24 hours of cross stitching challenge and uh, I decided last minute that I would join with this project because I wanted some, pro you know, some actual progress on it. Wow, I am so happy I did because without that, I don't think I would have, you know, I know that I wouldn't have gotten this far on my own uh, without a little help. So please join me next time. I'll try to keep you informed as to when it is. And if you don't cross stitch, you could always diamond paint. Um, I need 24 hours of diamond painting. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, I usually do that during the DP-a-thon. Well, I lie. <laughs> during the DP-a-thon, when that's going on, um, if you don't know what DP-a-thon is, it's basically like a weekend of live streams where people, all these different YouTube creators are diamond painting. And uh, it's run by Marissa McCartney, the crafty heifer here on YouTube. Which, she's just started a floss tube, guys, so please check her out. It's the same channel, the Crafty Heifer. But, um, yeah, like heifer, like cow, it's cute. Um, but she she just started her first floss tube. And I'm really excited to see her next episodes. But, um, anyway, I can't thread my needle. Sorry, guys. Come on. It's like the, the end is all wonky. Get in there. So, Marissa, the crafty heifer, does these. I'm going to have to do this again. Sorry, guys. We'll go from the back, the front, and the front. To the back. Can you hear the lawnmower? I'm sorry if you can. Whoop. Put that through. Okay. All right. Um, make sure that that's not blinding you. And a sip of tea. Oh, that's good tea. I'm gonna have to make some more. Uh, yeah. So okay. During dp -a -thon, all those creators go live and they go live back to back and they kind of like pass the diamond painting pen, so to speak. 
Um, I did it a few times. And then to give those, you know, smaller creators a boost, I stopped doing it because, well, it's really fun to participate. It's really, really super fun to participate. But it's even more fun when, when you're just starting out, you know. So anyway, the next time that that happens, it's going to be fun. And it's a great, great community builder. Um, it's just fun to be a part of, even if you're just hanging out and chatting. Uh, but that means that I don't really diamond paint at all <laughs> during the DP event. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, I like to moderate. I like to lend a hand. And I also do a lot of cleaning on those weekends because listening to people talk motivates me to to get stuff done, if you know what I mean. I really enjoy listening to podcasts or um, other YouTube videos while I'm cleaning my house. Because otherwise, like if I'm not doing that, I'm listening to music, which admittedly is quite outdated. <laughs> I always listen to like uh, EDM or which is electronic dance music or um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like <laughs> trance. So sorry, Rolodex, Stitches. Uh, we have, we have very different tastes in music, but it's okay. It's just the beat helps me get the house clean. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. A little insight to, to me cleaning. I've still been listening to that audiobook, Girl, Wash Your Face, which is really good, really helpful. It's kind of kicked me into gear. I don't know. I was wallowing there for a while, and I'm, I do apologize for wallowing on you but you guys are my rock so thank you so much I really appreciate it I've been thinking a lot about my beaded cross stitch and what I'm gonna do I need to work on it more so maybe the next time we have one of those competitions I might drag that out and um and do 24 hours on that sucker can you imagine that would be amazing even though I don't think 24 hours would even look like much progress on that, unfortunately, because it's just such a big project, you know? This goes up. Bear with me, guys. Over one, come on. We're almost there. And then these three. So, uh, yeah, so 24 hours of cross stitch did lots and lots of progress, obviously. Um, I had just these two columns here, these two columns going up, and then this little part, just that. And so I did the rest of it over the weekend. And it was so satisfying to see all of that progress, you know? So I'm pretty proud of it. I'm not going to lie. But it, it does take effort, you know, to get that done. It just doesn't happen itself. But it's just one stitch at a time. That's all you can do. All right, let's park this baby. So we're going to park her right here, I think. Yeah. Right there. Even though that's a pretty short thread, it doesn't matter. Because at least I can get a few stitches with that. And I'm not wasting it. And then if I look here, literally all of the rest of it is black. That's awesome, except for two stitches, I think, which I'll do later. We're just gonna move on to 310. So, and that'll be really helpful because now I can just like focus and talk. Um, bear with me. Try to finish this page with you today. Wouldn't that be awesome? To finish the first page of my hate on a weapon shot, I think that would be pretty cool. Three ten. Um. So, what happened Saturday 
afternoon, early afternoon, I got an invitation from the crafty heifer, Marissa. I got an invitation to attend a Zoom craft chat, not crap chat. <laughs> Someone thought that they heard me say crappy chat, crafty chat, <laughs> um, where we were all just kind of working on whatever we're working on and um, having a good time. And wow, like I haven't laughed so hard in ages. I, I tried not to talk too much because, you know, I was really focused. So I apologize if anybody felt kind of some kind of way or anything. I wasn't meaning to to be so super focused, but I at the same time I was like, I've got to finish this. Um, I get like that sometimes. But... These, oh, these little empty holes here are colors that I can't find. I thought I ordered them all, but I guess I messed up or something. Anyway, I'm going to need my trolley needle again. So, Saturday we had this crafty Zoom with everybody, and that was really fun. So, if you're interested in joining a Zoom meeting for next Sunday, this coming Sunday or Saturday, sorry, not sun, Sunday, Saturday, for this coming Saturday morning, it's 10 a.m. Central Time. You don't have to be a creator. I think there's a max of like a hundred people, but um, if you go over to the Crafty Heifers channel, I'll make sure to link her down below. You can watch her floss tube and you can get the link. Uh, you have to fill in a Google form, but I'll let you I'll let you go over. If you're interested, I need you to go over and, and get the information from her. Uh, watch her videos. <laughs> See if it's something that you're interested in. It goes from 10 a.m. Central to 12 p.m. Central. And it's nice to just like get to know people because you might not feel comfortable making a YouTube channel yourself, which, I mean, I can understand it, but that fear of starting a YouTube channel completely vanished when I realized how awesome the community is and how awesome people are, um, especially to me. <laughs> like, um, for me personally, like, I never thought that, I've always been that kid that's like the outcast, like, I sit in the corner and moan. <laughs> so to know that there are so many people out there who, who want to spend time with me, is just so heartwarming. So thank you guys. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're enjoying the channel and the videos that I put out and everything. Um, but to have the zoom meeting, it means that those of you without channels, we can see your face, or if you don't feel comfortable showing your face, that's fine too. You know, you could just listen in and, and chat with just your voice, that's okay too. We don't mind. But it does get really fun and we tell lots of jokes and oh my God, my sides just hurt so bad after. Um, so that was really, really fun. Really, really enjoyed that. Then um, I had another craft meeting with Heika and Jesse, Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and Miss Laid Pages and a few of our other friends and that was super fun i really enjoyed that because we were all crafting something knitting or cross stitching or you know whatever and it was super fun and i watched heika finish her um satsuma street alice sal she's going so fast with that and oh my gosh, we were up so late. I tried to go to bed early, but I think it was 1.30 in the morning or something. So I slept in really late on Sunday morning. I think it was 10.30 when I woke up, which is really late for me. And uh, immediately, like, I felt really guilty because I wanted to jump right into my heaven and earth design and get the timer down because I had eight hours left to go on Sunday morning, but I really missed knitting. 
<laughs> so for my first cup of coffee, because I always have more than one cup, um, anybody else? Um, for my first cup of coffee, I just knit a row in my little cowl and it felt so good. Felt so good. You know, you're addicted when, but I've, I've really been enjoying cross-stitching and knitting this year. I don't know what it is. I guess, you know, I, I have to say that I did, I do feel a little burned out of diamond painting. I enjoy placing the squares and stuff and, you know, I'm, I'm working on Pocahontas on and off but just not as much as I was doing last year where I was pumping them out constantly. There was just something about the end of the year where I had all of this stuff that I was doing all at once, so many projects on the go, and I really thinned myself out, you know, in my own head with my own deadlines. So right now I'm trying to build up that desire to diamond paint um, I think it's natural to go through these phases where you're obsessively doing something and then maybe you take a break for a few months and then you're like, oh, I really, really miss doing this. And I know that like, um, who was it? Kaya. It was Kaya. Um, if you don't know Kaya Rose, she, she's often in live streams and commenting down below. Um, she did an, was it 80 by 120 custom from Evermoment? So it was a square diamond painting. It was massive of the guys from Supernatural and it turned out so good, but she had been working on that for so long. I think it was, was it six months or something, Kaya? Anyway, I know you're watching, but, um, she was working on it for so long that she just got worn out. And, and that's natural, you know, especially when, for those of us who do like the really big projects. So I think I may, I know, I know I said no more new starts, but I might work on something a little smaller though. The Pocahontas diamond painting is almost, I mean, it's not almost finished, but like I'm more than halfway now. The end is in sight. <laughs> it's still hanging off the side of the table, but you know. I suppose if if you work on smaller projects, maybe you don't get burnt out as bad, but or as fast. But um, when I first started diamond painting, the addiction was real. Like I I diamond painted all the time, every day. I wanted to diamond paint at work. I wanted to diamond paint while I was showering. I wanted to diamond paint while I was sleeping. You know, like it was eat, breathe diamond paint. Um. But I just needed, I needed a moment. So now I'm, I'm going back to, to these, these kind of, um, fiber crafts, which are great. They're so tactile. I love, I love feeling the thread and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's different. It's different. And I'm sure that in time I'm going to be like, man, I really need this diamond painting. Um, I have ordered a few, like, there are more coming, but there's, you know, because of the situation that we're going through right now, it's going to take a while for them to get to me. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. And oh my God, you guys, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> get ready. Like, um... I'm not the kind of person that, um, oh crap. I'm not the kind of person that like nerds out over stuff or freaks out or anything, but I have been waiting for this diamond painting for like eight months. I'm so excited when this comes out. That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm done. <laughs> um, oh, I don't want to put that away. What am I doing? Just put it down here. Um, and once it comes in, I will be starting it. I don't care about slash the stash. I don't care about anything else. As soon as I get that diamond painting, I'm going to start it and finish it. I'd say I'll finish it in a week. 
well, actually I lie. It probably won't get done in a week, but it'll get done super fast because I have been wanting this diamond painting for so long. It was my idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I need it. Anyway, so just, just a heads up, just, just pay attention to the channel. <laughs> Not that you don't, but you're going to, you're going to want to see it and you'll know, trust me, you'll know. I will put that everywhere. Um, okay. Where am I? I haven't even been crossing off. Let me just highlight. <laughs> I haven't crossed off anything. How many, how many turns have I done? Three. I just did that one. There's a sticky outy bit. Wow, I've done a lot and I haven't crossed them off. It's okay. I could always go back later, I guess, but eh, I'll do it right now. Um, I think I placed an order with another company as well, but I can't remember who it was. That's not very helpful, is it? But, um, of this, this diamond painting that I got. So I don't know if you remember this, um, paint with diamonds. It was like the only paint with diamonds I ever got. It was of a, a Christmas ornament sitting in front of a Christmas tree in a hallway. And it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's copyright free because I have traced and traced and traced and cannot find anything suggesting otherwise. So I feel fine making a custom of it and putting it out there. Uh, but it's such a beautiful picture and I've saved that picture and really wanted to complete it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I ordered it and I ordered it pretty big, but I can't remember from what company. So that'll be a surprise coming soon. Cause I wanted it bigger. You know, I ordered it in a 40 by 50 and that's definitely not big enough for the style. I'm also kind of afraid, but it all, you know, of the quality of the diamonds, but it could make a good giveaway gift to someone, you know, someone is going to want that picture and they're not going to want to do it in the size that I want to do it in. Does that make sense? Um, Okay, but this is not about that. This is not about this is not about companies and buying stuff and whatever. I mean, a lot of us have been saving our money and trying to get, you know, get through the craft supplies that we have. So that's really good. It is really good to do that. Because, you know, if you have a significant other, you probably know the struggle of Having to explain how much money that you spend on your craft supplies, I know I do. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a YouTube channel or not. <laughs> My husband does not understand why there are so many packages, but he also doesn't know how much I spent to get a post office box. So there's that too. So I can get away with it because he doesn't see it. But yeah, um, I have stopped. Uh, I have stopped myself from buying any more yarn until I finish the projects that I have with the yarn I have. And I paused my knit crate because I figure, well, this, the one that they showed, no spoilers, but the one that they showed for this coming month is not something that I'm interested in. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what it is just in case you like, you want it and you want to be surprised. But I've just decided because my knit crate is still, it's still in Miami. It hasn't moved. It should be here. It, sh it should have been here already. So I'm kind of disappointed. Not, not because of them, just in the whole situation. Does that make sense? I apologize if I sound insensitive to the issue, but um, I totally understand why it's not here yet. I just... I just think right now the the postal system is overwhelmed as it is. So one last package is probably a good thing. Oh yeah. Oh that tea is so nice. Stay hydrated, folks. 
So yeah, I've just kind of slowed down a lot. Um, I did place an order with Lakeside Needle Craft. Is it Needle Craft, I think. The UK site for some Weeks Dye Works and Color color and Cotton, or no, um, Classic Color Works for some patterns that I got. So that's exciting. I need to get more needles. I, I actually should have ordered them, but I totally forgot. Um, cause I think, I think this is my last needle. I don't know where the others went. I think they just fell off their projects. Boo. Okay. Trolley. I need you. Um, this is where the trolley comes in handy because see you're like going back and forth and then it starts to twist. So that's where this is. Um, TV and stuff. So some of you know that James and I have been watching the Marvel movies and we watched Ant-Man again. I love Ant-Man. I love that movie. I don't know why. Maybe it's the actor or something. I don't know. But it's just so nice. And so I enjoyed that. And I think next is Captain America 3. I don't know if I've even seen that. So I think we're going to sit back with a movie tonight. Otherwise, we've been watching things like um, Unorthodox, which is really good. Really, really good. Did I tell you that? Um, no, I don't mean I don't. Uh, whenever whenever I fly, I'm just going to tell you, you're going to take it the way you take it. But whenever I fly international, you know how you get a, a meal. Um, I, ever since I started flying, I realized that I don't like airplane food. I really don't. Um, and I don't know very many people that do. And so something that I have done is that I special request meals when whenever possible. So, you know, if they give you an option to buy your dinner, I'll take it. I'll do it. But there are some flights where they don't allow you to buy your dinner. So you can't buy a steak or you can't buy salmon. I know that sounds really bougie, but trust me, I have taken so many flights that are like, 14 or 16 hours long and when you're stuck on a plane that long like the 25 bucks that it costs for a steak is nothing so anyway um one of the one of the hacks tricks i don't know what you want to call it i don't want to call it a trick or a hack one of the things that i do if i'm not able to purchase a meal is that i put in a special meal request you can do, you know, vegetarian, gluten-free, um, if you're celiac. You probably already know this if you do have a special dietary requirement. Um, when I when I did the, like, say, for instance, if, if you are a raw foodist, you can't eat food that's cooked. So, and it, you know, obviously it's vegetarian, vegan. Um, but the one that I... The one that I have chosen more often than not is kosher because kosher food, well, first of all, kosher food is fantastic. It's delicious. Um, it's not, it's not terribly sugary or bad for you. Um, and it's prepared off, off the plane, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, they all are, but it, the, you know. In my experience, in my opinion, I really, really prefer and go towards the kosher meal on an international flight. So that's, I mean, that's just me. Uh, if you eat kosher, I apologize if you if you feel that I'm taking your food away, but I promise I am not. They special order those foods well in advance, and I like it because I get a good sized roll and I like I like foods like bread on planes so not too sugary like I hate the fact that they are not sugary salty um, I hate the fact that they give you um, that they give you pretzels on planes or peanuts because they're so salty and it's 
it's annoying because the the plane is already really what's the what is that hold on one second sorry I felt something and it wasn't okay it's nothing um the plane is already dehydrating you to death <laughs> so if you were if you are um if you're eating pretzels or peanuts or something or crackers really uh those really salty things they're gonna make you so thirsty and they only give you water at certain intervals and i don't like to talk to people <laughs> so i don't know if you're like this hi sweetheart but I just, I just let the stewardesses do their job, and I'm not, or stewards, and I'm not going to be asking them to to make special accommodations for me. I'm just no, no. Go deal with whatever you need to deal with. Don't worry about me. Um, so in the post 9/11 era, it's it's a little more tricky you know, getting water and stuff. So I try to make sure that I have a big bottle of water purchased after I leave the gate. Um, before, you know, or sorry, before I enter the gate. So after security, before I get on the plane, I get the biggest bottle of water I can afford or purchase or whatever, which is usually ugh, Dasani. Sometimes I'll have smart water or something, but Dasani's just tap water. It's not great. It's better than bathroom water, though. I have been there. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you bring if you bring an empty water bottle, you can fill it up. But I don't know. It, there are some airports where they frown upon even the empty bottle. It's like there's nothing in it. But anyway. We're not here to talk about airports, are we? Oops, something happened. There we go. All right. Um, hmm. Are there any announcements that I need to make? I don't think so. I just had a brain freeze. Uh, I think I'm almost at 3,000 followers on Instagram. So when that happens, I'm planning on having a little Instagram contest. So if you're if you have an Instagram and you'd like a chance to win a future contest, please head on over. I have the link down below. Um just like I did with the Facebook group. And also I have not forgotten about my 10,000 subscriber giveaway just considering all the things that are happening right now. What I really wanted to do uh, doesn't really make sense right now. So just bear with me. I will give you a giveaway. Thank you for hanging with me and, and being here with me and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. So, you know, even if even if you're not here for the contests and stuff. Um, but if you are, I mean, uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. I have I have hay fever and my husband is mowing. I did take my Claritin this morning, but um he just came in the house. I don't know if you heard him. He's gone out to the gas station to fill up the petrol can, the can of petrol, the yeah, that thing, gas can. <laughs> um and when he walked in, he was covered in grass, apparently. And even though I took my allergy medication, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I get I get a runny nose and itchy eyes. So, yay me. But, let's see. So today, today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. So when you're watching this, it's Wednesday. Uh, plans for the week. Do I have any plans this week? Uh, not really. Um, I have a few things to share with you guys, like a few diamond painting tool things that are coming and I'm thinking about putting them all together in one video. So it's just like a smorgasbord. <laughs> uh, 
um, pens and diamond painting wax and stuff like that. Um, but that kind of stuff has calmed down quite a lot on my channel. And if you're ever really interested in like a certain shop or something and you're doing some research, feel free to, to search on my channel because I might have an unboxing from them. I just, I've slowed down a lot because, excuse me, there's only so many pens that I can use at once. And I have been so blessed by people sending me gifts that I really feel like, you know, not that I, not that I'm ungrateful or anything. I don't want to come off like that, but I have a lot and I feel like I need to give back, you know? So that's, that's kind of where I am in my own head <laughs> at the minute. Look, we're almost finished with this page. This is so exciting. The, um, the, this thing is actually just a little too high up for it to be really comfortable. That's why I keep taking breaks and sips of tea because I get, I get so far on a row and then I'm like, oh my gosh, my arm, you know, but normally this is in my lap, so it's no problem. Oh, by the way, did you like the video from yesterday? Did you like my tutorial video? I hope it, I hope it helped. I'm not, uh, I am, I, I, yeah, I don't feel like I'm an expert or anything. So I hope that no one takes the video that way. Cause it's just that, you know, the people who follow my channel want to see me do it. So that's what I'm trying to do is just to show them how I'm doing it. I'm sure there are better ways to do what I'm doing, but. I don't, I don't want to be Miss Snooty Pants over here. Um, I'm only just learning. But I'm really, really enjoying myself. So thank you all for the kind comments and, and everything. I really enjoy reading them. I am going to end this thread. We're really plowing through it, aren't we? How are you getting along in your whip? Okay, secure it in the back, clip it, and then we're gonna take a sip. <laughs> wow, we're almost finished. And we'll see how far I am. Whoops. Let me just catch up on my highlighting. So we've got all of that down there done. That I do know. Yep. And then we are up here. Yep. All of them highlighted. This Pattern Keeper app is amazing. Oh my gosh. If you're doing a heaven and earth design on paper, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me just say that because I think that without this app, I would not even attempt it. So I'm going to go from the top down now because, ooh, we're almost at two and a half percent complete. <laughs> two and a half percent. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> There's just so much confetti in this piece. It's going to look amazing, but like, it's going to take me forever. How long do you think it'll take me? I think it'll take me probably four or five years. I would love to get this finished by the time I turn 40 years old and have it hang hanging in my house. I see you, doggo. I hear you. She's antsy because she wants to go O-U-T to the P-A-R-K. Yeah, stretching on top of me right now. No, sweetheart. No, no. In a minute. She knows what time it is. It is 3.15, which is our time. Generally, to do, to do the business. 
So she's going to lay down again. Good dog. Um, she probably thinks I'm such a weirdo that I'm talking to myself all the time. <sighs> but this has been such a nice project to work on. And I'm really loving... I'm really loving it after this whole 24-hour thing. May 1st is on Friday. Is that right? I think. On, yeah, Friday. Crazy. Crazy. So, <laughs> let's talk, let's talk mania. Let's talk about Stitch Mania. Let's talk about what's going through my head. And maybe you can help me with your wisdom and um, stuff. So those of you who have been here for a while, you know that I, well, <laughs> I may, I may be suffering with ADHD. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, I like to flip flop on things and I like, I like to start things and I never finish them, but I find that I really like to finish stitching projects not just start them. So I'm wondering, I'm worried, part of me is worried that if I participate in Stitch Mania and I start 20 things, that I'm going to get overwhelmed by it, just like I have with diamond painting. And then, you know, new things are going to come up and I'm going to want to do them. And then I'll be like, no, I can't do them because I have too many whips. But I know full well that... It's possible to just start a project, put in a few stitches, and then go back to working on whatever it was you were working on to begin with. Like, there's no rules, right? Um, so half of me is saying, stitch. maybe I shouldn't participate in this kind of stitch mania thing where I start a load of new projects. Even though I've only, I've decided, decided, uh, to do like a middle ground and start 12, three new projects each week. But even with 12, I feel like, you know, I could, because I'm in so many stitch alongs this year, that that time could be better spent working on my whips. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm confused as what I should do. Part of me feels like because because I make these videos, maybe people would appreciate me participating and seeing new things being done. But then I feel like if I, if I do that, then how am I supposed to work on what I'm already working on and getting progress done on them? Ugh. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Also, the like three big projects that I really, really, really want to start as soon as they get here are still in the States. And I don't know how long it's going to take for them to get here because all of my mail from the U.S. is stuck. It's stuck. I don't know where it is, but it's stuck. And there's nothing I can do about it. And, you know, that it's not that I'm angry about it. It's just that, you know, it's the stuff that I wanted to do and I just, I can't do it. So maybe I should wait until next year to do a proper stitch mania. Even though it sounds like fun, it sounds like something that I could get involved in, but at the same time, that's a lot of stitchy time that could be used to catch up on my work, on my current works in progress. You know what I mean? What would you, what would you advise me to do as just, as someone who watches the channel? What do you think? Do it. Don't do it. Do it halfway. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Please, please let me know in a comment. And if you don't feel comfortable commenting publicly, feel free to email me, rachelraycraft at gmail.com. Uh, because, you know, I'm sure that there are many people out there who would say, do what you want, because <laughs> y'all are nice. Um, but, yeah. Okay, let me end this thread. We're going to do it. We're
we're going to do it and we're going to do it in an hour. Oh my God, you guys, this is amazing. Okay. Um, so let's see, is there anything else that I need to talk about? I don't know. Sip of tea. Mmm, tea. I don't really think, I just, I, you know, I miss, I miss, um, I miss certain things about the way things were, but I kind of like what's happening right now, um, in a, in another way. And I don't mean the people getting sick part. Okay. Just, no. But I think that people are appreciating time more and appreciating the life that we had and stuff, you know, which is great. I miss, I miss going out and meeting up with friends for coffee. That's what I miss. So I know it's going to be so sweet, so much sweeter when we are allowed. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to that day. So super exciting and I know you all are as well and I I just posted a picture yesterday of this beautiful sunset and I was thinking about you all when I took that photo I'm thinking you know wouldn't it have been wonderful to have that diamond painting retreat this year it would have been amazing but maybe it just wasn't meant to be this year so I'll just work on more ideas for the future and you know get my travel plans in order for next year because let's face it it'll probably be next year before I can go anywhere but it'll be it'll be amazing to to see everyone and spend time and yeah everything happens for a reason you know Sometimes the things we want to do so badly, they don't happen and we're probably, probably better off for it. So, but I was missing you all when I took that photo and, oh, I forgot. I meant to, to put in a, a little driving video. Okay, I'm going to put in the driving video right now. So if you want to see me driving through the town, I'll cut it a little bit so that it's not as long as it was. But just because I was thinking about you all, I totally spaced <laughs> on uh, sharing that with you all. But it was nice to, to go through and see all the people. There were a lot of people out and about today, you know, and uh, that was, it was good to see. I thought for a minute that maybe the restrictions had been lifted, but no, unfortunately not. But they will be, and when they are, I just can't wait to spend time with my family. It would be really, really nice. So I'm going to highlight all those while you're watching the video <laughs> and, um, and say my goodbyes. So we did it. We pretty much finished the page. I have one stitch left to uh, to fill in. But let's see. What color is that? That is color 844. Um, it's a lot of ums today, sorry. 844. It's gray. It's been so nice. Hasn't it, Lena? I I hope to look back on this time and and treasure it, you know. Yeah. Go lay down, please. I'm not done yet. But it'd be nice to look back on this and think about, you know, the response that we took saved lives. And, um, and I'm grateful for that. So, okay, this is the last stitch. 
already. And put it up through the back, right down through the front. Secure. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Move that back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on all this, have a look at the video that I made. And then it's just two stitches over from that that I need to park it. So, right... Oh, let me just take out these threads because so messy. to see. Right here, isn't it? Is it next to the brown one? It's hard to tell. There should be one, two, three. It's the third stitch down. Two, three. Yep, that's it. Perfect. And now I'm all set up. Wow. That's the whole page complete as far as I can get it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So guys, um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you got a lot of work done on your works in progress. Um, in the coming weeks, I may be posting more cross-stitching videos and uh, maybe even more whip and chats. If you'd be interested in more of those, please let me know as well. So I'd love to hear <laughs> I'd love to hear your feedback um, on these videos and everything that's going on. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, rest of your week, and a great weekend ahead. And don't forget to call your family and friends, and please join us over on Zoom this weekend. It'd be great to see your faces. And uh, yeah. I'll take I'll, I'll I'll let you go <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Take care everybody. Bye.